But Sunday, as I'm sure you do know, is Father's Day. And uh, the talk is that fathers are not properly celebrated. Question, what do they do wrong or what have they not been doing right, which is why they are not properly celebrated around here, in spite of the fact that it is an international celebration. I've been joined by Ethel Marfo. She is the uh, founder of the uh, Raising Boys Right uh, Advocate. Oh, I must say she's a... Uh, that, that advocacy group, okay. Ethel, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Great, and uh, welcome. So, how are boys raised in this country, which is why you'd want to raise young sons to become good fathers? So, uh, before I talk, I just want to congratulate all those um, parents who have raised great men mm. who have become great fathers. So, not all fathers are not celebrated. Some are really celebrated right. for how well they, they, they've raised their children. Mm. Yes, so I congratulate all mothers and fathers who have raised such great sons. Right. Um, you asked a question which mm. is very, very important because um, in Africa, for instance, we raise our boys to mm -hmm. know that um, <coughs> they are the head, they are the providers, and so the focus is usually a man must work to mm. provide, mm. to provide um, um, material stuff to provide education, mm. you know, which some, some of them are even falling short. But it's been more of work hard and provide for your family. But I there, see. there is more to that. There is more. More to parenting mm. than just providing. What, what more must the boys know uh, before they get into adulthood? Okay, so in my organization at Junior Shapers Africa, there's this um, three-pronged approach we take. Mm. So a boy must first know his values. Okay. Yes. Um, knowing your values comes with knowing, self, discovering yourself, mm. self-discovery. Mm. Who are you? You <coughs> must be able to know who you are mm. and appreciate your, 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 yourself, your skills, mm. your, your abilities. You must love yourself. If you don't love, you can't give back. Absolutely. So we have many men who are bitter. They, ha they have silent struggles that were not taken care of during childhood. Mm. And they enter into marriages and they don't communicate. Mm. They, 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 they don't have a way of solving conflicts. Okay. You know, so um, we must raise boys right to appreciate who they are, to mm. love themselves. Okay. To, to know, to stand for some values. All right. You know, you, you, as a man, you must know that, yes, um, these are the values I stand by. I'm a man of integrity. Okay. Everybody knows that this is who you are. Mm. As a man, you must be, uh, you must raise boys to nurture leadership skills. Mm. You see, at home, it's all about the leadership of the man at home. Right. Why most women are taking over mm. is because they don't see a clear leadership mm -hmm. at home. You know, so if a man is not leading. You know, as a man, you must have a vision mm. for the home. Mm. You must discuss, communicate with your wife okay. how you want the children to, to I mean, from which step you to must which have step. a plan, must have a plan. To, to raise You must have them. family mm. goals, but we don't have that in many homes. Mm. And so that's how we are not raising our boys, mm. right? That, that's the first part of the three yes. talk. What, what are the other two elements? So I've just talked about leadership. Right. After the values and knowing who you are, mm. leadership. Leadership, so okay. So after leadership is relationship building. Relationship, it's very okay. important. Mm. We are not wired to um, find ways of nurturing relationships, mm. you know. So we have relationships at all levels. We have relationships with subordinates, relationship with your family, mm. with your wife, with your children. Mm. So we teach all this. A junior shapers Africa. I see. Yes. Let's talk about uh, the cultural setup that we have. Men are, uh, the predisposition is that they will be breadwinners, they will be in charge, and they will be backing down and talking down and playing king in their, in their own home. Is that a way to go? We all know the repercussions of that. Mm. It leads to divorce, um, it, leads, it leads to... Um, homes breaking up, you know. So every um, man should know that the family is um, what builds society. Mm. And you as the head of the home, you are the foundation. Okay. This is why I invest so much in training boys. Mm. Men should know that they are not just the head, they are the foundation of the home. Mm. And you know what it takes to have a strong foundation. Any building that, ha that doesn't have a strong foundation will crumple and fall. Right. So we need to make men and boys growing up understand that mm. their role mm. as the f heads of the, the family mm. is more of providing a strong pillar mm -hmm. and a foundation mm -hmm. in the home. So in saying so, you must put certain um, steps in place. Your communication mm. with your family, mm. with your wife, must be fluid. Mm. You, you don't just lord ideas 
or a lot um, your interest over mm. them. You, mm. you, and in today's children, you must learn to negotiate with them. Mm. You don't just tell them right. to do something. They'll question you. And this is the dispensation in which we are. Mm. Children have been brought up to question. Okay. So if you are a dad that had a very harsh upbringing and you want to transfer, and that's what I see. It will fail? It will fail. It will, it will backfire. You need to agree with them. Yes. Okay. You know, mm. if, even if you don't agree with them, you, you need to negotiate mm. with your children mm. and your wife. Okay. And um, families thrive mm. on... Um, how the father treats the wife. Mm. So if you treat your wife with respect, the children also live in harmony. They, they are happy. They, they, they love the fact that you mm. respect their mother. Mm. You know, so I see, I see men, you know, adoring their children all over social media and they cut the wife out and mm. that kind of thing. It will, it will, it will backfire at a point. It will the backfire. children will get to know who you really are. I see. So now the question on my mind is, yes. are, are girls brought up in a very special way and boys left behind. And I'm asking this because you find that there are many girl-related groups that teach them how to, for example, uh, ensure menstrual hygiene. They're teaching them uh, human rights. They're teaching them if somebody touches you here, it's wrong and all of that. How are the boys brought up to be at par with the girls as they grow so they know that uh, physical abuse, verbal abuse is not good if you want to become a good father? So in fact, this is what has led me to um, form this organization called Junior Shapers Africa mm -hmm. because we've realized that we hit hard on the girls mm -hmm. to, you know, we, we even groom girls to prepare for marriage. Mm -hmm. We tell the girl, oh, one day when you marry, this is what you should do, this is what you should do. Mm -hmm. And the boys are just left to be boys. And so when they grow up and they're even in marriages, they have this boys mentality self of self, sense of entitlement mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's like everything should come to me i mean mm -hmm. i mustn't really negotiate anything with you mm -hmm. you know so we've left the boys behind for a long time and okay. i'm not talking about education right yes i'm talking about raising the boys right at home at home mm -hmm. it starts at home charity begins at home so we I, I, I always encourage so our programs have a parenting session because right. there is no point <laughs> teaching children and going back to a toxic environment. Mm. So we always train the parents what to do at home. So mm. let me give an example. You have a son and a daughter at home. Mm -hmm. You make sure that they work together as a team. Mm. You can give them a tax in the kitchen. Okay. Don't limit your daughter to the kitchen. Right. So yeah, this is the mistake we've made. My, my dad past. used to put all of us in the kitchen. Your dad is awesome. There was, there was a boys week and there was a girls week. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Yes. Oh, wherever <laughs> he is. So that is how to do it, mm. you know. So you must put them in teams so that even when they grow up, they can work mm. with other women in harmony, you know, because we have a lot of these um, abuse cases mm. in the corporate world, in, in, in workplaces mm. and all that, you mm. know, and it starts from home. So it's time that we raise boys and girls equally. Mm. It must be equal. The training must be equal. Yes. It, it, these things you're talking about are very critical. Is it about time we uh, imbibed it into our educational system so that right from the get-go in primary school, JHS, secondary school, university, these things are taught subtly so everybody comes on the same page? I totally agree with you. So, for instance, um, at school, when it's time for sports, when the girls want to play football, there should be no teacher saying that, no, you're a girl, stay behind. Mm. So this is where it starts. The boys must know that the girls can equally do certain things, and it's, it's, it's allowed, mm. you understand, because there are <laughs> cases where boys are favored mm. over girls, right. and the boys see it, and it becomes a tradition. Mm. So it's about time that in the schools, they teach about gender mm -hmm. and the... the, the the effect of empowering both genders. Right. You know, mm. a Great gender equal world is a better world for all of us. One one watch line. Uh, to create or to build solid boys to become great men and great fathers. That will be a final point you okay. will take you'll take home. So one watch line is allow the boys to express themselves. Okay. There are a lot of boys who are bottling a lot of bitterness and nobody has been able to address their silent struggles mm. and that is what is leading to crime and that's what is leading, leading to abuse. Mm. So allow your boy to express himself I so see. that you can be helped. Mm. Yes. Let, let's go back quickly to your program uh, that's coming up. What, what program is it? Why are we having a party and who can attend? Tell me about the details quickly. Okay, so we have a program for all fathers mm. um, at um, 
um, Christ Temple, um, sorry, Upper Room Temple, ICGC okay. Church, Mataiko, to okay. celebrate fathers okay. on Sunday at 4 p.m. Mm. And so children have written interesting stories about their fathers and mm. thanking them. So we invite all fathers to be there. It's okay. going to be a great time. Mm. Yes, so that's what we Where's Upper Room located? Upper room by, by the traffic sorry, light? Mataiko traffic light. Okay. Yes, mm. and it's like toasting to fatherhood. That's what the program is all about. Okay. You know. And I have subsequent programs for boys mm. grooming. And mm. um, we have a camp coming up in July. Mm. So if you just go to my page on Junior Shapers Africa, Africa, you mm. get all the details. Yes. Thank you very much, Thank Ethel. You. Most grateful. And Ethel is working so hard to make sure that we have a balanced society where uh, boys don't feel left behind. They become good fathers in future. And this Sunday, she's inviting all of us to come celebrate our fathers in a very grand style. She's with the Junior Shapers Africa.